Hey, Nish here, and today I'm showing you a template I use in Notion to keep track of songs I'm learning on the guitar. Now, this is something I made for myself, but I figured there's a small possibility that other people might find it useful, and so I'm sharing this template as you can do this in Notion. Now, the basic idea of this is it's making use of Notion's database type feature. Now, for those, for the uninitiated, Notion is a really cool organization type tool. Um, one of the best features, it has these databases where you can have databases of documents, or at least this is one of the features I've enjoyed the most. Now, if I go to the all view, there's loads of different views now that you can view these databases databases in, which is really cool. And I'll just quickly take you through the different fields here. So we've got song title, which is free text, as, as you might expect. Then you've got artist, which is a select option. So you can select from options that maybe you've already put in the past just to save a bit of time and you get some nice colors. Then you've got status, which is something, you know, I've designed these options, but you can, you can play around with these and make new options or change them however you like, change the colors, whatever you fancy. But for me, I've got things that I've not even started, things that are in progress, getting there and maybe songs that I've finished, which for me would mean if I've recorded it or if I maybe did it an open mic or I felt confident with it. There's also some other fields which I don't use as much, like favorite is maybe if you want to mark a few that, that you want to keep separate from the rest to find them easier in the future, then you can do that. There's also the opportunity to put down the key and tempo if you fancy, I don't know, filtering through your songs for a song which has a tempo of 50. Now the cool thing is that each of these rows can have an associated document. So for example, if I go to the best song in the world, which I've not actually uh, put anything in here yet, because I just made this as a demo. I put in some, some cool templates that you can use for the page. So there's a full one and there's a no tab. I'll show you the full one just for the sake of completeness. So the first block I've got in here, it's making use of a code block feature that Notion has, which is really neat. I mean, you can use it for all kinds of programming languages, but I'm just using plain text. Now, for those who aren't aware, um, if you ever want to make tab, notepad type editors are really good, especially when you use the insert function, which is, this is where your cursor doesn't move everything when you type stuff. So for example, I could be typing a six and then, I don't know, put in a five H seven, uh, oops, shouldn't have put a space there. Uh, and I could put like a six and then a slide. Ooh, I'm doing really good at typing here. A six and the slide into an eight. I don't know. You can, you can use this pretty well. Um, I've recently been trying to do some, you know, ear transcribing and I've been using notepad works really cool. So tab is there. If you don't need to do tab, then you can use the other template option that doesn't have it. Next, I've got a very simple table where you could it acts as kind of a chord chart. So you can put in the chords, uh, I've split it into four bars, you know, you could easily, you can easily add and delete these as you wish, you know, for example, oh, there's no verse, I'll delete that. Or this is not a pre-chorus, it's a bridge, or I don't know. It's just a quick way to write down the chords. So at a glance, you can kind of look at it. And, you know, for example, something I do often is in the free, in the free text, I've actually put a link to it here. There's a website called Chord Pick. This is a very cool website, a shout out to them, um, is you've got basically a fretboard and if you ever want to draw some chords out or maybe some scales out, then you can do that and then you can export it as an image somewhere here. And then what I tend to do is export the image and then paste it into my song page. Apart from that, there's another plain text box to put paste in some lyrics. Now, the reason I prefer this box compared to just the plain text in Notion, one of the things I don't like the plain text in Notion, it's quite sparse. And if you want to get all the lyrics on the screen at once, which you often do if you want to glance at it, then it's a lot more dense in this uh, plain text code box. But again, that's personal preference. You can play around with it. Now, I'll quickly take you through a couple of the views just to, just to demonstrate. So the all view, we'll put them all in this table form. The one I was showing at the start is a board view. I think it's called a Kanban, something, some style of board, maybe from somewhere in Asia, I don't know. Um, and the idea is it splits them by the status. So you could easily see, ah, uh, these are all the ones in progress and maybe you can move them between them when you're done with them. Um, there's also all grouped, which does a similar thing, but groups them like vertically instead of horizontally. But then you maintain having the additional information, the additional fields. And then there's some simple ones that I've made using filters. So for example, here we've got one rule where status is finished. I mean, if you're familiar with, I don't know, SQL or any kind of data analysis, you'll love this kind of stuff. So you've got, you you can really customize this. This is really only a skeleton thing. And this template is designed for you to, you know, copy out and make some additions. And, you know, honestly, if you find some, you know, good improvements, let me know, let other people uh, watching the video know. And 
well, there's not much more to say. So I think I use the finish tab and not finish tab a little bit if I want to see what I've been working on. And that's about it. So thanks very much for watching. I hope the template serves you well. Let me know if you have any feedback or like I said, any suggestions. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.